that first of all, South Sudan is a very big country, as you know. It is bigger than the size of France, with about 10 states. Out of those 10 states, we have over eight of those states are under full control of the government. They are calm, there is no fighting. Now, in the unity state, that's where have rebels have violated the cessation of hostilities, and they attack the town of Bantu, and you have seen the sickening and the heinous crimes they have committed by uh, actually massacring innocent civilians. As you can see in the post, the church, and also uh, in the hospital. That is really an abominable crime. And I can show you the government, greater control of other areas, but we will contain the situation. And our message is to the Egan country for seeing the peace process. Here are the rebels led by Dr. Jeff McCarthy, the former vice president. He is actually violent the station of the that he got has to defend himself, including the president of the Minister of the Army, as well as as the other leaders of the Igad countries, from Igad going to Uganda, Seven, and everybody else. Uh, so I can assure you, the government mandate, this is an elected democratic government by the people of South Sudan. Uh, it is our institutional right of the government to protect its citizens. But here we are, the rebels uh, certainly attack these spaces uh, in the presence of even unmissed forces in the area. Uh, so the government is doing all its efforts to protect its citizens. And that is our, the duty of the government. Uh, thank you. Uh, a final question to you tonight. Um, people are talking about sending in troops. What are your thoughts on that, particularly in your docket of foreign affairs? The Kenyan Senate is debating this issue at the moment. The international community, do you feel abandoned by the international community? Uh, we, we, we still feel that the international community should do more about it. Because South Sudan today is a member of the family of nations, a member of the African with a member of the African, member of East African community, a member of the United Nations, and we actually thank the people of Kenya, both the parliament, the president, for the concerns that you, they have raised in, in trying discussing the issue of sending troops to the Republic of South Sudan. We are a sovereign state, and according to international law, that we will welcome the Kenyan forces because they will be doing what is good for society and what is good for our region. Uh, that has been done in Somalia. You have got Kenyan troops, Ugandan troops in eastern Congo. You have the South African troops, the Tanzanian troops, the Malawian troops, and all of it. And you can have in so many other places where, where the regional, because anything that goes on in South Sudan will definitely make an impact onto the East African community. So really, uh, uh, the, the Republic of South Sudan and the government of South Sudan will welcome and will work together to see that uh, that possibility of sending troops who would urge the Kenyan parliament, uh, that's what a brother and a sister can do to a brother and a sister. And I believe this is what... Okay. Uh-huh. All right. We thank you. We thank you very much. We apologize for the poor quality in... Uh